You can see I got two Compact Logix processors connected together via Ethernet. And what I'm going to show you how to do is how to message data from one Compact Logix to the other. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll start by opening up the program that's in my secondary processor. This is a version 18 program. And basically all it does is takes a tag by the name of my data and moves that value to the outputs. So we can see right now we have uh, four bits on. If I change this to uh, 31, we should now see we have five bits on. So let's go ahead and um, go to the program in the Compact Logix uh, L16 and take a look at that. This is the program from our last episode. So this is our sequencer program that makes the lights go back and forth. Okay, so we're going to take this program, we're going to modify it so that we can message this output value to the other compact logic so we'll get the same light pattern on the other uh, processor. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add the L23 to the L16's program. So I'm going to come down here on the Ethernet. I'm going to right click and do new module. And here I'm just going to type in L23. And I'm going to hit create. It's version 18, so I'll go ahead and select version 18. It's asking for a name. I'm just going to call it L23. And I just happen to know its IP address is 192.168.1.68. All right. Let's go ahead and hit OK. And there it is. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and add a rung. And in this rung, I'm going to use a, uh, an XIC. And I'm going to use the same timer done bit. And I'm going to use this to trigger a message instruction, which is MSG. Okay, now I have to give that instruction its own tag. And I'll just call this my, whoops. I'll just call this my MSG. And let's go ahead and open the block up. Here, I want to do a SIP data write. Okay. And the source is going to be my outputs. That's what that's the value that's changing in the current program. And the destination will be, if we remember, if we go back and look at the L23, it was called my data. So the destination will be my data. Now, for communications, I'm going to choose the L23 I added to the tree. I want to make sure I choose the controller. And at this point, I think I'm all set. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to verify my program. No errors. So now I'm going to save it with a new name. And now I'm going to download. Communications, who active? Choose my L16 and download. Yes, I do want to overwrite the program already in the processor. And in a few moments, our new program will be downloaded to the L16. Yes, I will put it back into run mode. And now, you can see my uh, outputs changing here on my L16. And hopefully that data is being messaged over to my L23 every time the timer is done. So let's look over here. We can see on the L16 we got the lights uh, changing. And over here we have the same exact pattern, 0 through 7 and back to 0. And that's how simple it is to message from your compact logics to another compact logics over Ethernet. And that's it for this episode of the Automation Minute.